What's up guys? Tom is here with SketchUp Architect. So I'm going to be doing something uh, a little different here today. I'm going to be doing a comparison between my desktop and my laptop, which as you know, is the Acer Predator Helos 300. So what I'm going to be testing here is how both of these uh, computers uh, perform doing a rendering with Lumion 10 and both running the same file and just creating uh, renderings and a, a video animation. So I'm going to show you the specs of my desktop and also the specs of the laptop. And we're gonna load up the same file and let's see how these perform. So are you ready to do this? All right, let's get started. First up is my desktop. And right now this is the benchmarks uh, run by Lumion. And this is again, this is Lumion 10. It is the trial version as you can see there. And as you can see here, what I have is the graphics card is a, the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti. It is running 11.2 uh, gigs of memory. The processor is the Intel Core i7 8700K, uh, 3.7 gigahertz there. And for memory, I have 32 gigabytes installed there. And as you can see, all these surpass the recommended benchmarks for Lumion. So um, now it could do a little better with the system memory, but it is above the recommended. So, all right, now let's go to, let's go to our model and let's see how long it takes to do a rendering. So I already have a model installed or, or the file is open here and I'm going to click over here for the video and we're going to click in render movie on the end right here and let's give it a second and let's go ahead and say 60 frames per second and I'll leave it on this production quality and let me just move the camera a little bit and we'll do full HD so I'm just gonna go ahead and click it uh, we'll just give it a, a name right here we'll just say test and let's see what it gives okay so right here we can see it is running about two hours about two hours and 20 minutes 17 somewhere around there give or take so not too bad for the uh, video render time for 60 frames per second it's pretty uh, good quality uh, rendering there so let me go ahead and stop this real quick we're gonna say cancel rendering for now and that's okay and next thing I want to do is let's go to a set of photos and I'm going to go to here and again, I'm going to open up the same exact file in my desktop. And now I'm going to say, let's go ahead and render a set of photos. Let's go to photo set and let's say print quality right here. And they're all selected. Hit print. And let's just say photo renderings. And let's see what it does. And there it's moving pretty quick. Uh, looks like it's telling me about a minute for all these renderings to process. So not too bad, a minute for the photos and about two, two and a half, give or take hours for the video rendering. So that's what we have for this desktop. So, and, and you saw some of the specs for the desktop. So now let's move on to the laptop and see how it performs with the same exact file. So next up is the Acer Predator Helios 300 and I already have Lumion installed on it. Again, this is uh, Lumion 10, as you can see right there. And let's go ahead and, and look at our computer speeds. So I'm gonna go ahead and click here. And there we see, uh, again, we are right at recommended on some of these. And for the computer processor, we are above, and you can see there it's running the uh, Intel Core uh, i7, 9750, and the CPU is a 2.0 six gigahertz system memory 16 gigabytes and graphics memory six gigabytes graphics card it has the nvidia geforce G gtx 1660 ti so um again not bad it's it's uh, above recommended or just right at recommended with some of these but um not too bad so let's go ahead and uh get our model well the model is already installed there let me go away okay so let's go ahead and back up and I believe I already have the model in here so let's go to movie first 
and we're going to go do the entire movie. Uh, let's go ahead and go to our render movie. And there I have it, the settings. Uh, we still have 60 frames per second at uh, production quality. And we're going to go full HD. So I'm going to click that. And I'll just save over this uh, test file name. Let's click save. Do we want to override it? Yeah, sure. And let's see. Okay, what's it giving us? So it's saying four hours. Yeah, just right about at four hours, kind of jumping a little bit around there. And I believe our desktop was about three hours. So uh, just about, you know, just one more extra hour there, which is not horrible, but just a little bit, taking a little bit longer with this desktop for doing video animations. Okay, so not too bad. All right, let's, uh, let's escape out of this and let's see how it does for rendering still images. Okay, let's go to our photo option here. Let's go to that first tab over here. And let's go ahead and we're gonna render a complete photo set. So we have them all checked like we did in our desktop. And we're gonna go to the render to print size here. And we're gonna go ahead and click that. And I'll just give it a name, let's just say test again. And go ahead and click save. And let's see what times it gives us. Uh, about a minute, two minutes, more or less. So not too bad, I believe, with the desktop. We were running about one minute. So just an extra minute is really not all that terrible. So not too bad. Uh, the desktop did perform a little bit better. Um, again, it has some, some better settings, as you can see but not too bad for this acer predator all right guys there you go we have the desktop versus the laptop and today the desktop one but again both of them did fairly well um, if you're in the market for a computer or a, a laptop i think uh any computer with these settings are pretty good um and if you have another one that you are you want to recommend uh, comment below i want to know what what settings do you recommend for doing 3d rendering um, animation, etc. Um, let us know. Let us know in the comments below what, what you're running and if you're doing better times than, than this and your renderings uh, under those those uh, quality levels, let me know. I, I want to know. And um, if you're looking for some 3D modeling courses, visit sketchuparchitect.com. I have some courses on there to learn SketchUp, to learn Lumion, and uh, just to make you a better 3D modeler. So uh, and if you go today, if you go right now to the, my website and you sign up to my email list, I'm going to send you a free course, no strings attached, uh, just so you can get, get going learning some of this stuff. So anyways, remember to click that like button and I will see you next time. And remember to keep sketching. Thanks.